mutilations from massacre video is really something. I don't know completely if it's a good something or a bad something, but it's something nonetheless. It is a very dry acted and very somewhat interesting plot film about a very dull teacher who, after studying a series of cattle mutilations, pretty much ends up in the middle of nowhere battling space aliens. Now, it, it's got some, some pretty neat effects to it, which is probably the highlight of this one. It, it has, um, you know, some pretty neat little stop motion things going on here, which is the bread butter with mutilations. Everything else is a little give and take. There's some weak characters, you know, but a movie like this, you're probably not going to be watching for characters, and you probably won't be watching for plot, although I did find the plot to be pretty doggone interesting, and also, for better or worse, whether intentional or not, I found the movie to be pretty, you know, pretty, pretty funny, which can go a long way with me as well. This is from Master Video. This is another one that they put out a limited edition uh, cover version for. That I, well, I, I think it's just a cover, different cover, and I don't have that one, but I got this one, which I'm very happy with. I kind of like this art better. Uh, comes with the director's audio commentary. Yesterday's biscuits and mutilations retrospective. 1986 local local TV interview with director Lawrence Thomas, rare bloopers and behind the scenes footage, image gallery and still storyboard, more, plus a DVD wrong with the original script, and the trailer. 1987, not shot on video, as a lot of people I think assume it is. I think about every time a master video releases something, people just kind of assume it's shot on video these days, or at least my inner circle does, but that's not always the case. There's your original artwork, I would imagine, for the old VHS that came out of it. Like I said, this one, it's pretty interesting. I mean, it, it, it's a bit out there. Not everybody's going to like it, which is something you can say about every Massacre video release, basically. But if you like this sort of thing, this is probably one of the, the better ones. I enjoyed this, you know, more than I have a lot of stuff I've watched here lately. So, while I wouldn't say it's nowhere near great, it's at least entertaining, and that is good enough for me when it comes to mutilations.